but tell me a little bit about some of the duties that you do here on the ranch. Mm. Damage control. My name is Jim McGinnis and I pretty much run everything outside here. This is my 30th summer. To me it was always about being up in the morning, seeing the country. Um, just always like riding. My dad came out here <coughs> in 63, stopped in looking for a job. And Ron asked him if he could shoe horses. He said he could, so he had a job. She came out and was peanut butter mother here, kid wrangler for a year or two, and then they got married. And then after I graduated high school, I was just kind of knocking around going to school. And Ginger was here, called up and asked if I wanted to be the head wrangler. I always thought about coming back and working up here. And I went down south looking around some of the country and came back and been here ever since. It's pretty hard to beat this little corner of heaven. We're only a mile from Yellowstone and we can accommodate beginners to experts. You can have a great ride that's short or you can go a long ways with some people. That's why staying the whole week you get your riding endurance built up over the week where you can just keep going farther and farther. The biggest thing is a lot of the, the adults and you see their children grow up, um, start coming here with their kids. That's pretty neat to see. The rest of us, we're just getting older. I've got some great, great kids' horses. These kids will trot and they'll lope. Empowers them. They can go home and tell their friends that they rode all over hill and dale on a horse for a week. Oh, it's fun to see them having a good time playing in the woods. Seeing my horses, keeping them safe, getting them somewhere. But it's all about safety too. If you can imagine it, it can happen around here. Everybody has to wear slip-on boots. Um, we've got really good tack. They need to wear a string in their hat if they're going to wear a hat. Um, we make them get off to put on a coat or take one off, as far as a rain slicker or something like that. Too. Um, we always ride in single file. And we won't have a ride bigger than 10, nine people, not counting the guides. You know, we're getting close to 100 years and it's quite similar to what it has always been. There's a lot of history here. A lot of people have come through here. Um, a lot of characters, a lot of good horses have been through this place. Um, guest wise, employees. Um, that's one of the neatest things to me about the place is just the history of it and who went through here and what, what it became and the things that all everybody's experienced. Just look around and see the work that went into this place to make it. I mean, most of these cabins they cut with it's saws and peeled the logs themselves and used horses to build them. It's probably as close to people can get to being somewhat of their heritage. What this country was built on and how it was made, to me that's important. <laughs>